Let's get to Brian in Jackson, Mississippi. Hey, Brian, what's going on, brother? Man, looking forward to that meeting at two o'clock today. Right. One o'clock. Yeah. So, what yeah. do you think's gonna? What do you think they're gonna say? Uh, you know what? I'm thinking they're gonna make some kind of statement to try to calm the market down. Yeah. That's what do you think? That's what do you think? Yeah, I, I think I think you're right. Yeah. I don't think they're really gonna do anything. That's just my opinion. You know, but they're gonna make statements. You know what's? You know what's gonna be wild about that? This is what's really cool. Is that if you if you listen to the rhetoric from, from whether the commentators or funds or politicians or everything else, right? When, when the Fed doesn't do anything, everyone's on them. You got to go up. You got to go up. Now they go up a quarter point, right? Yeah. And then you got if if you if we, that's so great about Google too. If you can Google, you take the same person and Google and get their quotes, and then you go back again, and they're all saying. Hey, the Fed's gonna stop. They gotta back off. It is just hilarious, yeah, man. Sure, do you know what I mean? Sure. Because they do have that much power. I mean, that's that's the power. The power is there, man. It's pretty amazing. Well, uh, I put on a trade last night on the ADEX. Um, I normally don't buy um, out of the money. I usually buy at or close to the money. Okay. But uh, but uh, to play this particular meeting, what I did was I wanted y'all's opinion on this. I bought two out of the money. I'm long the 1915s it expired 415. Oh, okay. Yep. And I'm short the 1858s that expire at 415. I got the 1915s at 12 and a half, and I got the 1858s at 88. So I've only got $25 roughly. Uh, and I'm trying to. I'm not going to try to capture all of it. What was the 18 one, Brian? Again, 18 what? 1850, I think. Right. 1858. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. And I'm not trying to capture all of it. Just uh, I'm hoping I'll get a spike up, spike down, yeah. you know, head in one direction. Okay. And so you get the, this is a nice play, man. So the spread. That, so you're short the 1858 and long the 1915. Right. Cool. Yeah. Right. I'm just pulling yeah. everything up as we talk about it. We have both contracts right in front of us. We have the S&P right in front of us. But yeah, there's some volatility today. Yeah, it's going to come mean, for sure. They're kind of far out of money, but it's still within a you know a, a range of about 60 points. Where the other day it was a 72 point daily range. So, I mean, it's still within the range, especially on a day like today. Um, I just wanted you guys' opinion to think that I mean, is there a chance it could hit both? I, I've never done it this way. I've never tried to you know straddle like that. 1858. Let me just look at something for sure, a second. So on the, it just, the it we're at 1883 the right now. Oh, yeah, that's nice. You see, really we have the S&P right here. Right okay, yeah, okay. It's, 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 it's the S&P left. Really oh, okay, right here. Yeah. Yes. So, but, uh, so we went from 91 to 83. That can get you to 73 pretty quick. What does that spike over? Like 50? Oh, I see it. Well, yeah, the the, the last low this right there. This is 58 right here. Yeah, that's, line, that last so. low, that, that could be had, man. That that definitely could be had on the spike. Well, the thing about it is, I, I could even get close to it, and still make money because I've got sure. I've got my I've got my uh, working orders in at sixty and forty uh, price wise. So Good, I'm not that's trying awesome. To capture everything, I'm not right? To, you know, capture both, but uh, right. But it but it keeps hitting that eighteen eighty level really hard. Uh, that's the only thing that's yeah. making me think it may not may not spike down but may go up which would be okay i'd still make money that way right or the other way you just need to pop one way or the other and my, my bias right now is that it would go up what you have going for you though right now which is really cool is that the way this market is trading it's so nervous that you could get that spike down first sure. do you know what i'm saying um and this is kind of what kevin was talking about yesterday though you take you're not trading directionally you're trading volatility which is kind of cool exactly yeah. now exactly because you're going to have the vol I don't think the volatility is going to slow down. Right. You know, at, after, you know, they'll come out with the announcement. I think for another hour, it's going to be higher. And I mean, then you still have Facebook tonight, where that can drive ooh, that's expectations. Even heavier. Oh, that's yeah. Oh, hey, you get some action there. Yeah. That's right. Because now I forget if anyone knows in the den when Facebook. I know it's after the close, but what I mean specifically on the question is that is that did they come out a minute after the close? You know, Apple comes out at four thirty. It, it when I pulled it up, it didn't say what time they come out, but. That's gonna that's gonna that's gonna drive it also. The Fed's the big deal for yeah, you. There's for sure. no doubt. Yeah, and I'll just uh, before I get off, I'll just you know this is not really a plug for Nadex, but I'll just ever since I've, I've been doing Nadex now for about six months, and I tell you, 
if, if you've got just a regular uh, uh, trading account, I mean, you, you can hedge your risk big time with, with this. Yes. I mean, you, I mean that's one it's thing huge. I like. It's It is, it. no. Yep. And but guys, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Yeah. We really appreciate it. Have a great one, Brian. Thanks, thanks Brian. Brian. Yeah, the, you know, the, the, there's no doubt, folks, when, if you haven't test drove the Nanex platform yet, you can come over to our website, you can bring up the platform that put $25,000 of paper money. Um, you get used to the contracts. If you are a futures trader, um, you can... Yeah, it, there's, there's it, moments. We've went over them yes. before. Daryl's really good at demonstrating these in terms of, you know, the exact money that you need to put up, whether it's, you know, 40 contracts. You can actually hedge huge positions just right. for paying a small bit of premium, which you're paying that premium, but you're paying it as an insurance policy for a massive amount on some contracts using Nadex. That's right. And what the difference is, and this is what's so cool, folks, on an on a announcement like today, um, you can hedge this in the futures market, but you pay a fortune because you're hedging it going forward, whether it's two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Sure. And the Nadex market, guess what? You're hedging this to 415 yep. this you afternoon. You like a big time out of the money spread or something exactly. like that. You're paying $1 right. to $2 per every $40 of that spread it's or something huge, like man. that. It's huge, man. I mean, it's absolutely huge. No right. doubt about it. Yeah.